Chief Gano Ideas YouTube channel. What's going on? Culture is power. History is knowledge. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, just learning. Like a lot of people will ask about how I learned or where I read. And yeah, I've talked about it in videos before, but let's talk about it again on just the creativity of wanting to get knowledge. So me, one of the first groups I came across was obviously the Mexica movement. And I've read and listened to most of the books that they recommended, which I will be sharing on my YouTube feed, uh, that information. And check out my Instagram, Chicano Ideas 24, where I will share the books that the Mexica movement recommended. Or you got the, uh, you got the Chicano movement books <clears throat> that they show if you were to take Chicano studies or, or growing up Chicano, the Chicano movement. There's also a handful of books about, you know, the Chicano community. So one of the things uh, also that I did was go to my local libraries around town and I looked at different history books of who I wanted to know about, what I wanted to know about. I wanted to know about, you know, indigenous native tribes. So I would, even though they weren't books that the Mexica movement recommended, but I've learned from them and I overall understood what I was trying to gain and get the knowledge, what knowledge I was trying to have. And after being able to get information from them and then going around to different libraries around the community, and reading books like uh, the California Natives, you know, the uh, the the West Coast Natives, Northern California Natives, Sacramento Natives, uh, the East Coast Natives of the East Coast, Natives of the South land, like different books that you know Native Americans of the Midwest like met the Aztecs and the Spaniards when the Aztec met this. Incas, just going around getting different books, reading what I wanted to learn about. At first, I was almost wanting to, like, I don't know every pyramid name. Like, I used to, you know, everyone knows the moon and the sun pyramid, which is in the known as the Valley of Death. And everyone knows uh, Chichen Itza. So it's like, there's so many pyramids, and I, at one point in time, I wanted to be a, like a specialist, but then I'm like, nah, that's not what I'm really into. I like learning the history, but I'm not into being a specialist. Like people of the Mexica movement who are specialists into knowing, they could see that statue, tell you the god, what the god's about, name all the pyramids, and I'm more, I'm, I have a philosophy state of mind. I just love learning uh, about other stuff and knowing to understand not really I wasn't into learning about you know their weaponry and all that they had books like that about tribes and that wasn't I couldn't get into it but I like going down to my local libraries around town and getting history books you know reading about Malcolm X Martin Luther King a great book that I read about Martin Luther King was called The Truth at Last it was a great book written by uh, someone from the NAACP and by the guy who shot Martin Luther King, his brother, which I completely forgot their names right now, unfortunately. So it's always good to go down, depending on what you want to learn. If you're into wanting to know history and natives and tribes and understanding colonialism, you know, you go down to your local library and start with books there about, you know, try pre-America, you know, pre-Hispanic books would be called. And then from there, once you get an understanding of that, then you start reading about, you know, the blend, the conquistador conquest and the European uh, conquest overall. And then you start reading about the shaping of America, the United States. And then from there, you probably take it a little bit outside the North American continent and start learning about the world, reading about history of the world. <clears throat> it's understanding of just what do you want to know. You want to know about science. You want to know about engineering. You could go down to your local library 
can pick up books to know the information and to have the information. Like me, I was not also reading books. I was listening to books. And I was also watching YouTube, you know, watching and listening and reading at the same time. You could listen to the book. Sometimes, you know, if you got ebooks, app, you could listen to a book. You could listen to books on YouTube. You could watch documentaries at the same time while you read books. It's all good information and stuff to a good documentary will give you a little bit of fantasy of imagination. So what do you want to know to learn? That's what it's about. How and what is it that interests you that gets your mind going other than a physical activity of basketball, baseball, martial arts, are you able to sit down and learn and slow your brain down and read this book and start controlling your mind to understand, uh, focusing, and being able to knock a book out? It's not always that easy to slow your brain down for some people and really concentrate on a book that's why it's good for documentaries and if you can't you know you can't focus your brain to slow down then you listen to the book but other than that chicanos creativity of the mind culture is power history is knowledge what are you trying to learn about what type of person are you trying to be when you're older what what type of mindset do you want to have what type of information do you want to give to people that is what interests me and what interests you. So have the patience to want to know it. It takes patience in order to have the skill that you want to know the information to have. Peace out. Culture is power. History is knowledge.